January 18, 9.30 a.m., Nutsford Boulevard, New Kingston. I see this policeman on his phone while two others stand beside him. I was in the bank. Minutes later, I come outside. The policeman is still on his phone. I take out mine and start recording. After a minute and a half, this happens. Two of the three policemen are now on their phones. After two and a half minutes, the third policeman is shown something on his colleague's phone and appears to be listening. All this while this policeman remains on his phone the entire four minute four seconds. Minutes later, in halfway tree, I see a police team walking. This member appeared distracted by his mobile phone. I parked and went to observe from across the road. Now this recording lasts 3 minutes 43 seconds while he used his phone. I went upstairs for a better view. A minute 8 seconds in, he talks to a pedestrian. Then he went back on the phone. His head comes up occasionally, but the phone does not leave his hand. Eight minutes, 26 seconds in, his colleague briefly checks his phone and puts it away after three seconds. But the policeman in the green vest here continues. After nine minutes, 15 seconds, he changes hands while appearing to shake off exhaustion in the hand that held the phone. After 10 minutes, I stopped. So we are now past 10 minutes I've been uh, observing just on this video alone. Uh, 10 minutes straight in this position. My hands are not hurting me. So I will uh, seek to stop this video. In addition to seeing policemen on phones while standing, I have also seen them on bikes. This was January 28. He was on his phone when we parked at the red at the stoplight and remained on it as we left on green. A week earlier, on the morning of January 21, 9.13 a.m., I drove past this policeman on his phone. I parked and went across the road to observe. So I'm across the road here in Halfway Tree, um, right by where York uh, Pharmacy is located. And I've been here more than five minutes now, just observing the officer. A month earlier, December 17, 2023, another policeman on his bike. It was 9.48 a.m. Nearly three months earlier, on September 26, at 9.29, this time at night, same general area in Halfway Tree. If you look carefully, the policeman under the clock is obvious, but two of the three across the road at the NCB are also glued to a phone. That's three of the four policemen at the location with eyes off the road. I make no assumptions about what these policemen and women are doing on their devices. I also know the police have legitimate reasons to use mobile phones on duty as the new e-ticketing system is used on mobile. But I note those instances distinctly, like here. I am not sure what this officer was doing, but it's evident these two are writing a ticket. I've pointed out this instance to differentiate between when an officer is obviously executing his or her duty using a mobile phone, as visibly different from instances like this that strongly appear to be personal use. Rowan Simpson is a licensed firearm trainer. They are distracted them carrying firearms, they're putting themselves at a significant disadvantage and putting their lives at risk. They would basically make themselves an easy target. But even standing or walking around phone in hand, not using it is problematic. There's a reason they put in the law that they don't want persons on electronic devices while driving because it distracts them. In this situation, it has been shown or proven that where a person has a phone or has an object in their hand, if they're attacked, most persons try to secure the device before going for that firearm. And in such a situation where split seconds are important, it puts you at a major disadvantage. He acknowledges the move toward e-ticketing and the need for cell phone use in many instances, but says there must be strict adherence to safety fundamentals, like having a partner next to you while on the phone. But social media distractions are a no-no. If you're 
operate in a space where gun crime is as high as it is in Jamaica, you need to be alert and aware at all times and be ready to react with the necessary force. And being on the phone isn't... Definitely not.